Oh, that, lint, that lintel behind me there is, um, and on, of course over the windows, and you'll see more of them, uh, they're from the lintel quarry that we passed in the boat coming out here on that cliff, uh, that really dangerous quarry. Now, it, it's a great example of how people in the past use what was around them. Uh, they, they built a house or they built a building or a mill or whatever with whatever was around them. All this stone was quarried here on the calf and these lintels would have been brought in by boat for the big stuff. And uh, there's a pond to my left here. You can't see it through the willows, but um, it's higher up. And that, when that pond is empty at the moment, because they're working on it, but when it's full, there's enough pressure in that to drive the wheel to drive this mill. And they were getting all their, all their flour from this mill. So they, they, they were using what really cost them nothing, water and air and, and, and stones that were lying around. And that's, what they, that's, what they, that's how they lived. And that's, I, I never said this in Manx, but I think that's what we need to get back to uh, in order to save the world. And I was talking about the stone. The stone just, uh, it's nothing to do with the calf really, but in 1812, there was a war between Britain and America. And Americans couldn't get Yorkshire grit stone because of this war. So the only other place they could get it was France. And to this day, traditional mills that use millstones in America use French millstones and we use English Yorkshire ones.